Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Tyler from Podcast Now, and today I'm going to show you the HTC U11's Android 8 Oreo update. We've got a few new updates here. Um, as you can see, the new Sense UI, the Sense Launcher, looks a little bit different. looks a little bit more like Pixel. Um, I'm honestly not a fan of it. Uh, next, when we jump into the Edge Sense settings, how it's going to come out of the box um, or if you already have the U11, it's going to have it where, as I do here, you can squeeze and do the flashlight, or you can just squeeze and, and go into your camera. Uh, for the Oreo update, however, there's a new Edge launcher, and what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to disable the advanced settings for Edge Sense, as I do here, and then you're going to want to go down, <clears throat> and it's probably going to be on launch camera, but you want to switch it to Edge Launcher, and then this is what it does for you. It allows you to have the one-handed use. Um, you know, here's a little wheel that you get to customize that makes it really useful if, if you're doing something one-handed, maybe you're cooking or and you got to call somebody, you got to send a text or whatever. Um, you could put in basically any app, any contact, any quick setting um, that you want. Pretty, It's pretty convenient. And the cool thing is actually, if we all recall, and I'll show it, um, the original HTC Ocean um, leak originally showed this wheel. Um, it was a little bit different. I think it was a little bit bigger, but it was in circular type of icon. So maybe that's why they actually did it. It just happened to be similar to the Google Pixel phone. Another thing that you can do, you can enter the beta like I did. And you can actually customize per app what, how you want a squeeze action to be used, um, which I think this is awesome. Um, I don't think this is a gimmick whatsoever. I think this is actually very um, beneficial. And I think that it's it definitely is something that HDC is doing that could potentially be something that we get in our phones. And obviously screens are getting bigger. Um, phones are getting smaller while screens are getting bigger. That's all cool. But what I think is really cool is what I'm going to show you here. When you jump into YouTube, you can actually make it so that on a squeeze, you can pause or play the video. Now, you got to kind of be careful where you place it um, and how you do this. But, you know, if, if you're doing something and you're watching a video and you got to, you know, you got to go do something real quick. I know, obviously, that it's like, well, it's not that hard to just, um, you know, pause it with your finger, hit, you know, hit the button. But it can be pretty convenient. If you got to do something real quick, you just squeeze and it pauses. Um, so you just hit that little red button, put it over the, basically, the red button acts as how you would tap. Um, or if, if there's something that you have to access by double tap, you select that, and then the double tap will be overwritten by a squeeze. Not totally, because you could still double tap it if you want. But if you squeeze it, it will act as the double tap. Another thing you can do in Google Maps is you can zoom by squeezing. Um, not only Google Maps, but you can also do that on Google Photos. And being, like I said, being in that beta and just going on the Edge Sense settings, you can select what you want to do that with. So looking at this delicious John's Fleming Hearth Pie, it just squeeze and zooms. Very, very cool and very delicious. I still have some in my fridge. Now for Google Maps, YouTube, um, Google Chrome, uh, for now, picture in picture is supported. I can't actually get it to work for YouTube. I don't know why, but Google Maps here works. So all you do when you're in Google Maps, like I said, YouTube, uh, Google Chrome, you just hit the home button and it makes a little tiny picture that you could drag around. You could be doing other stuff. So it's like almost like multitasking on a either you can either consider a bigger scale or a smaller scale um, because you don't necessarily need half the screen to be used for a map. Um, you might just be listening to a video. So you only need it small, like like Greg Bernarino, like I listened to him. You don't really need to watch him. So a small screen is fine for that. You don't need to take up half of a screen. So that's really cool. That's in standard Oreo. Um, for the Pixel and any other phone that's getting Oreo. Um, the U11 is one of the first to get Oreo, which is really cool. Okay, so hope you guys liked the video. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll always get back to you. And thank you for watching. I don't want to say. Please like this video if you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. We have tons of giveaways. We do a lot of other shows, um, video games, entertainment. So, you know, check out the rest of our channel. And thank you for watching.